Hi guys, welcome to the fourth part of this series. In the first series, we had explained how do we maintain our folder structure. Uh, that is as per our own ISO, and uh, that's how we had been doing all these folder maintenance and all. The second part was about GDNT of the part. After we were awarded this particular part, we went through the GDNT drawing and we checked the feasibility of what dimensions and what tolerances we can achieve or what we can't achieve. Uh, third one was simulation. So that was nothing but 3D feasibility. Our supplier used out of form to simulate and check if the part is feasible. And we did multiple iterations and finally based upon the simulation results we had advised for uh, some minor product change uh, requests so we did that and we also implemented those and we had done the simulation and found everything good based upon the result customer has okayed the product change request now we are taking you through the strip layout as you know it is a progressive die and progressive die is nothing but a stamping process where we feed the coil or strips and multiple operations are done at multiple stations in the same die a part might have multiple features like it might have form flange up flange down piers cam piers and all based upon the process each operation or some of the operations are done at one station and some are another station the part remains attached with the coil and it gets cut off at the last stage now we are taking you through the very first strip layout which we did for this part okay so let me open this strip layout this was the first after our simulation got all green as you can see here so let me show you the text box so in the text information box we have kept the part data part information the part number what is the material size 273 square width 235 pitch and 1.6 is the thickness you can see material utilization ratio is 44.5 percent you can see the total tonnage we got from the simulation is 370 ton based upon this the nearest available suitable place which we selected was 600 ton okay now we go to the strip layout let me zoom it over there as you can see the place we have chosen that is having a feed from left to right it means the coil feeder is placed on the left hand side of the place and the part gets collected from the right hand side so this is the very first station in a progressive strip the most important feature is pitch as you can see pitch 235 question is how do we maintain the pitch what we do we provide two three or more pilot piercing holes in the very first stations mostly sometimes we also do in the second station but i will tell you explain you later about that in this case what we are doing this was the prelim very first strip layout what we are doing we have three pilot piercing hole in the first station uh, two are having that 10.1 one is having 13.1 actually we will use three pilots in each station the pilot pin diameter will be 10 and 13 respectively that's why the hole what we are making in the strip is 0.1 millimeter bigger than the actual one so as we all know that the pitch will be initially controlled by the coil feeder we have a system there which will control the pitch but there are a lot of uh, vibration in the place multiple variables are there so sometime this 235 
which we had control from coil feeder it might be 234 might be 236 you know so for the precision location we use pilot pin this pilot pin are in the upper die so when the coil is fed and it is in the position then the pilot pin which comes from the upper die first relocate fine tune the strip to the most perfect location okay so that's how we maintain it you can also see <coughs> in the very first station we have couple trims also so the first station apart from these three pilot we are doing one two three four four piercings now these four trims as you can see here this control are uh, stripped of a part trim line let me show you the final part design see this is the final part design which has multiple features you can see form flange up pierce on the flange flange on pierce on the flange and we have multiple holes there so this is the last station where we do cut off cut off the carrier what is the carrier carrier yeah so i was telling that in the last station we also cut off the carrier carrier is nothing but the part of the coil from which parts gets connected now in in like we are doing some pierce station and then we are doing some cam pierce station and then the one which you are seeing seeing the blue color we are doing the restrike then we are doing the flange down all happening in reverse order right i am just explaining you and then we are doing the flange up operation here and in this station of before the flange up we have one idle station so you can see the flange up has all the holes also done in the previous station which is done in this particular station where we are doing the trim and pierce both together prior to trim and pierce as you see the trim and pierce prior to that we are doing the form right this complete form and before that before this complete form we have all the trim line established right so now let me take you from the very first station okay so as i was explaining in the first st station what we have here in the first station we have two pilot piers and the and one more pilot three pilot piers these three pilot pier holes are carried forward right at 235 because that is what our piece is and the pilot pin come from the upper die and fine tune the position by relocating these pilot holes to the pilot pins right and apart from these three pilot pier holes we also have three four four trims you can see one two three four all right now here as you can see between the part we have kept 8.1 millimeter gap usually 7 to 8 millimeter we can keep but considering the cross section of this punch we thought okay 8 millimeter is good enough because we had to maintain the pitch to 235 so we made it 8.1 otherwise pitch would have been 234.9 millimeter right? a round of pitch is always good because when you do something later on when you adjust the die in maintenance production time that time if it's 235 it's always better to remember for the time maker now you see these small small piercings here so these are like 7 millimeter now we have done some more piers over here some more piers over here right so in op20 op30 we have completed all the piers now as you can see we also have maintained uh, noted down what is the force in first station what is the force in second station so p is the cutting force and f is your pressure pad force right so 32 turn 4.25 55 like that you know okay and the fourth or st fourth station is our forming station you see forming force is 56 turn approximately and forming uh, 
प्रेसर पैड फोर्स इज सेवन पॉइंट फाइव टन अप्रॉक्सिमेटली सो दिस होल एरिया विच इज हाईलाइटेड बाई मजन 